All right, it's fucking mukbang time. We got some homemade shit. We've got um, a meatloaf with uh, some fried shallots and some carrots and some uh, spotatoes, which is what Cooking with K would call it, who is my favorite food channel. Sorry, K is cooking, K-A-Y-S cooking. Um... High Noon Vodka Soda. Uh, <laughs> cranberry flavor. I like High Noon a lot better than uh, a lot of the other like vodka seltzer type things, honestly. And then some sort of some sort of uh, dip. Seems to be some sort of mayo based dip. Some sort of based mayo dip. Mmm. Potatoes are good. High noons are expensive. Are they more expensive than like fucking White Claw though? Or like, Truly, because those ones I don't like very much. White Claw and Truly, not a big fan. Neutral, great. Kettle One Vodka Soda, fantastic, but way more expensive than High Noon. Um, and then Nude, which I think is only in Canada, and also... Social Light. Those are good ones. Also, I think Social Light's only in, like, Ontario. Some good spuds. Yeah, Nude. I think they're from BC. So I have them all the time at home. Yeah, the Bev. The drink. Mm. Some carrots. Horse food. A full, lovely meal. And I believe this loaf is cooked to an adequate temperature that would not give me food poisoning. I like that there's like cheese in it too. It's very steamy, steam worthy. Hmm. It is good. That's a good loaf. Cat BF is a solid cook. He is improving very much. Thanks to, well, thanks to him and also um, a, one of those like, they send you the ingredients and then you just make it apps. And I'm not going to say which one because I want to get a sponsorship with them and I still need to email them about it. And that's the entire reason why I started going on it is because I was like, well, I want to try it out because I don't want to just take a sponsorship from something and not have any idea what the quality of it is like. I got to remember to do that. I should write it in my calendar because I've so far just been eating a lot of their shit. It's very convenient and nice to have the ingredients and instructions 
all just kind of laid out for you and not worry about like having to buy things at a store and then buying too much and then being left with a bunch of shit you don't need. This one's kind of weird though. I'm wondering what the shallots are for. Were they supposed to be like on top of the fucking, like, I don't know. Like presentation wise, I wonder. I'm gonna dip this loaf in this sauce. You like finding new recipes on your own? I really don't. I like having, I like that they give you like 20 things to choose from in a week and then it changes next week. And so you still have choice, but you have like a good rotating list of selections. It was delicious. It is very convenient for my lifestyle. <sighs> the salted rim is not for the high noon. It was for a margarita that I drank earlier, but I figured I would reuse the glass. Because there's ice in it. <sighs> Might have just spilled a little. Yes, I did. It foamed up. It foamed up more than I wanted it to. <sighs> oh, shit. Gonna message Torakin because I wouldn't mind playing a thing. That was a good meal. Playing a white. Well, we started a game called Bread and Fred that we. Co-op climbing game? No, I finished the Halo co-op with Tarkin. And that was legendary, so I don't know what more I could do with that. A clip of how a famous saw transition was done. It was the one where she breaks through the door? Of course I <laughs> of course it is. It's not, it's not like I needed to know how that was done. Princess came in. They're from Officer Rick. Booyah, motherfucker! Come. Oh, my God. Booyah, motherfucker! <laughs> uh, Darren Lynn Bowsman's such a fucking idiot. All right, we're going to go back to re reacting to that thing. It's still bad. Yeah, it's still st stupid. <laughs> it's still completely unmotivated... Story wise, like tone wise, it's so silly. Um, that was a good, that was a good high seven meal. And uh, 
Yeah, we're going to go back to that thing. Thank you.